Hi friends, hello now. I hope that you are enjoying our YouTube classes and you are practicing seriously about your policy exam. Am I right? Yes. And also welcome to one one more. I have to come with you beautiful topic. That is nothing but quadratic equations. Friends, before going to start the quadratic equation, you how to do one thing. Only you are watching this important question and previous questions. Depends on that. You how to see in our description link. Many questions are there. Previous question, model question, gunshot. Many questions are there from area. You can see and practice it. And one more suggestion for you. Recently we have completed about a TS Polyset exam explanation also there. No, by seeing that video, you pass the video and guess the answer. That is also one kind of online practice, right, my dear friends? One nothing but mock test. You can do like that. Then you will get such a beautiful idea to subjects. Okay. Now let us go with quadratic equation. Friends, mind mapping some points that I have written, which is based on the competitive exam, which is based on coming exam. That only I have written here in the general form of quadratic equation. Yeah, general form of linear equation a x plus b. General form of linear equation two variable a x plus b y plus c equals zero. At the same time, general form of quadratic equation nothing but yeah, you are right. A x square plus b x plus c. Yes, if you have an equation. Which is having degrees two, then it is called quadratic equation by the definition, right? But or else we can say that p of x is any polynomial which is having the degrees two, then it is also called as quadratic polynomial. It is having equal zero, then it is called quadratic equation. Here the condition must be this is the x square coefficient must be not equal to zero, then it is called as quadratic equation. Or else it is a linear equation. Right, my dear friends. Very good. Now this is a general form. Here a comma b comma c are belongs to real numbers. You know very well. And what is its nature? Every quadratic equation have a three natures. Depend on its discriminant. What is discriminant? Yeah, simple. B square minus four ac is called discriminant of every quadratic equation. It has three type of nature. One is Discriminant is denoted by delta O R R D. Here delta or D greater than zero. If you are doing discriminant b square minus four a c, you have to do it by the rest with respect to the question. With respect to the question, you should you, have, you should substitute the a b c values. You will get more than half zero. That time we have a one nature. The roots are. Realigned, distinct roots are realigned, distinct. When it is possible, if delta greater than zero, sometimes the discriminant get the negative answers, negative numbers less than zero. Then we should get roots are imaginary roots, means does not exist. We don't have any real roots, imaginary, complex roots. Now, if delta equals to zero or d equals to zero, roots are realigned equal. Realigned equal. Friends, you see, these are the three types of natures which is having discriminant. So that is the reason nature is very very important. In this question, one question will come compulsory. Next, a graphical representation to find the roots. Graphical representation means actually it is in polynomial, but it is also based on discriminant. We should find graphical representation as well as find the roots. For example, delta greater than zero. Yes, this parabola will intersect the x-axis two places, two distinct places. Yes, delta greater than zero. This parabola, this curve will intersect the x-axis two distinct places. Delta less than zero. This parabola will not intersect x-axis at any place. That means it does not have any roots, right? Next, if delta is less than zero, this parabola will touch the x-axis at one place only, either right side or left side. It will touch the x-axis at one place only because equal roots, two roots should be equal, one by two, one by two, 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 one, one, like that. So this is called graphical representation based on discriminant. Delta greater than zero. This curve will cut the intersection at two places. Less than zero, it will not intersect. 
equal zero, it will intersect at one place only. That is called graphical representation to find the number of zeros, right? Oh yeah, every quadratic equation at most two zeros. It have at most at most two zeros. Remember, next friends. And uh, what is this? Alpha and beta. Every quadratic equation have uh, two two roots because power is two. We have to get two roots. Alpha and beta. Its application we have to see. Means some of the roots product of the roots, and some more applications will be there based on this question. Some of the roots formula you know very well. Some of the roots minus b by a product of the roots you know very well c by a. Minus b by a, c by a. These are the two important formulas for to find the sum of the roots and product of the roots of quadratic equation. Okay, now my dear friends. And uh, if one root is given, alpha is given to find beta. Beta is given to find alpha. That kind of application questions also we have to touch in this previous question as well as manual questions. Friends, this is a literal information, right? Just a preview of this movie. You want. more depth information some students are asking if you want you can see in our playlist beautiful depth information i explain for 10th class students that information will be useful for you definitely by seeing that you can solve this question definitely you will get the correct answer right my dear friends now let us come to the first question now friends <coughs> question number 1 if alpha and beta are the zeros of p of x 3x square minus x minus 4. Then find alpha beta, alpha plus beta respectively. Friends, simple. I told you just now. Yeah, alpha into beta value minus plus c by a formula. Alpha plus beta value minus b by a. As you know very well. From the question, we have to find a b c. Yes, x square coefficient is a, x coefficient is b, constant is c. Yes, c by a. Yes, c minus 4. By a x square coefficient three minus four by three and minus b x coefficient anything is not there means we should consider one sine is minus so minus one by a three plus one by three minus four by three plus one by three where it is minus four by three plus one by three this is a very easy answer right this is your perfect answer dear children now first one is very finished first one is finished within ten seconds now. Second question. Without pen paper, you can solve this answer. I hope that. P of x equals five x to the power of five seven minus six x to the power of five plus seven x minus six. Then the degree of P of x. What is the degree? I s to power of the polynomial. S seven only. This is the degree. This kind of question they are asking polynomial sometimes here also. Okay. Next. If the sum of the squares of the roots of x square plus p x minus three equals zero is ten, then p. Ah, oh, what a good question. Sum of the squares, sum of the squares of the roots of this quadratic equation is ten. Then find the p value. Dear friends, you see sum of the squares means alpha square plus beta square is asking, right? Okay. First of all, alpha plus beta. We have to find alpha and beta with respect to this question. Here a is one, b is b, c is minus three. Alpha plus beta one, you know minus b by a, c by a. This is a very easy formula to everyone. Here minus b value p, a value one, minus p by one, minus p only. Here c value minus three, a value one, minus three only. Alpha plus beta, alpha into beta. We got it. Now he is asking sum of the squares of the formula. Alpha square plus beta square. Actually this formula I know directly, but How we will get this formula? I will tell you. For suppose, let us take sum of the roots. I am taking here, squaring on both sides. Alpha plus beta, you have to do square. Mean nothing but a plus b whole square. Means a square plus b square plus two ab to alpha into beta. Got it? Now this is we should find alpha square plus beta. If you know direct formula, then you can apply. Otherwise, you can go with a plus b whole square. That's it. Now a plus b alpha alpha square plus beta square is nothing but this is the value and this value transpose to left side becomes to minus two alpha into beta. Okay. Now alpha plus beta substitute it here. Alpha into beta substitute it here. Right children. Minus b whole square p square minus two minus plus six. This value is given in the question ten. This value is given ten. Substitute. 
Now p square equals to 10 minus 6, p square equals to 4, p square p is equals to root 4 plus or minus 2. Yes, this is your answer. Plus or minus 2, where it is? This is your answer. What is your children? Plus or minus 2 is the further. What I have done? Simple. Alpha plus beta, alpha into beta, applying a plus b whole square. This is, is asking because sum of the squares, sum of the squares means alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha into beta. Substitute of all is, this is the perfect answer. Okay, next. right. If one root of x square minus 8x plus 13 equals to 0 is 4 plus root 3. Ah, yes. One root is given, uh, means alpha is given. Find the other root. V is asking beta. In our concept mind mapping, I told you, I told you, one root is given, we should find other root. Now, formula, simple amount, alpha plus beta minus b by a, minus here, this is the b, this is a, minus b by a, minus b value minus 8, sign is very very important, dear children, a, 1, plus 8 by 1, 8, here alpha is given, this value is substitute here. 4 plus root 3. Now plus beta. In the place of alpha, I have to substitute this value. Now beta is equals 8. These two values transfer to right side. Now 8 minus 4, 4 minus root 3. This is your answer. Where it is 4 minus root 3? This is your answer. Clear? Right, my children? Next. Fifth question. The roots of 2x square minus 2 root x plus 1 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. We have to find the roots by using three methods. Splitting method, as well as formula method, as well as completing square method. Now completing square method omitted. So we have to go with formula method. Then we will get the answer. Let us see here. A is, here A is 2, B is minus 2 root 2, C is 1. What is the formula? Minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2m. Yes, minus. What is the b and a? Minus 2 root 2. Substitute minus 2 root 2 plus r minus. Again, b square minus 2 root 2 whole square minus 4ac. A value 2, c value 1. Substitute by 2 into a value 2 again. Right? Minus into minus plus 2 root 2. Plus or minus square root of 2 root 2 whole square. 2 root 2 whole square. 2 square root 2 square. 2 square value 4. Root 2 square value 2. 4 into 2. 8. How it is? Like this. This value 4. This square root cancel. 4 to the 8. Right? 8. 8. By 4. 4 to the 8. 8 by the 8. Plus 8 minus 8 cancel. Root 0. 0 only. Now we are getting only these two values. 2 root 2 by 4 because inside 0. Now 2 and then 2 2 jar. So root 2 by 2 we are getting. We have to do rationalize because answer is 1 by root 2. There, na? So you have to rationalize with root 2 by root 2. Root 2 into root 2. 2 by 2 root 2. Root 2 get cancelled. 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2. Here equal. Two roots are equal. Where is 1 by root 2? Both are equal. This is what else. 1 by, we are getting 1 by root 2. Here plus or minus will be there, no? So, but here, here discriminant is 0. That is the reason I am taking 2 roots are equal, children. Very important point here. Here discriminant I am getting root 0. When the b square minus 4 is I am doing here, this is the value, I am getting 0. When the discriminant is 0, what is the nature? The roots are real and equal. What are the root? 1 by root. It is real and equal. Means 2 are same roots. That is our answer. Okay, right. Next, if alpha, comma, beta are the roots of x square minus px plus q equals 0, then alpha by beta plus beta by alpha. Now here, alpha by beta, beta by alpha, nothing but do the cross multiplication, you should get alpha square plus beta square by alpha into beta. Like this we are getting, I told you, you know, just now, alpha square plus beta square formula direct you can write. Yes, just now we have completed alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha into beta by again alpha beta. Alpha square plus beta square already approved here. That is the direct formula. Right. Now alpha plus beta from this question, 
we should find alpha plus beta. We should find alpha beta separately. Alpha plus beta minus b by a here minus plus minus b or minus of minus b plus b. Next alpha and beta c by a q by 1 q sums to the values p square 2 into q by q. So p square minus 2 q by q. Where is your answer? p square minus this is answer. Okay now from this question sum of the roots formula minus b by a. Here b value having minus sign minus of minus p plus p by 1 plus p alpha beta c by a a value 1 q by 1 q this is the formula substitute you will get the sums. Now dear children if 1 0 of the quadratic polynomial 2x square plus kx minus 15 is 3 then find the other friends you see actually in previous questions I have taken uh, one root is given other root we have to find alpha plus beta but you don't use here alpha plus beta because here, here k is given in such case we have to use alpha into beta another way alpha into beta yes alpha into beta formula c by a here alpha c minus 50 a 2 one root is given this is considered alpha we should find beta so b is equals minus 15 by 3 comes to down 3 comes to down. So 3 1 ja, 3 5 ja. So beta is equals to minus 5 by. Where is another root in our option? Very easy. Right? Why should I take alpha plus beta? Because here another different variable is there. Constant is there. So don't go like that. Alpha into beta is the better way. Right? Next. The value of roots 6 plus root 6 plus root 6 and so on infinity. Sometimes they are giving plus, sometimes they are giving minus, sometimes they are giving into. In three cases, you can follow my technique that is easy for your mark. That technique very without the pen and paper you solve this answer. Here yes, 6, 6 factors. Yes, 2, 3 is a 6. Here plus is there. So bigger number is the answer. This is your option. Here minus is there. Smaller number is the answer. 2 is the answer. Here into is there. What is the question? That is the answer. Don't go with squaring on both sides. Quadratic equation. Solve the factors. Nothing at all. Factors of 6. Positive is there. Plus 3. Minus is there. Small number in the factors. Into is there. Question only answer. Remember. Okay. Next. If P of Px square plus Px plus R equals 0 has equal roots, then R, then R, equal roots means B square minus 4AC equals 0. Here B, Q only, B is Q, 4, A, P only, in the place of A we write P only, constant R. R. Now Q square equals to 4PR, minus 4PR, transfer to right side, plus 4PR. He is asking smaller. He is asking smaller. I want R. R is equals to, you want R means this one transfer to left side. It becomes to denominator. Q squared by 4B. Finish. Q squared by 4B. Finish answer. Like this question sir also they are asking. Okay now. Next. This adjacent figure can show us which kind of option. I told you know this curve will intersect the x-axis two different places. That means delta greater than 0. That means Discriminant greater than 0. This is the answer. B square minus 4 is greater than 0. Okay now. Now friends, I hope that you are enjoying today our class and uh, you have to understand, you have to satisfy this class. You give your good comment and likes to us and share to your friends also. And uh, till then, practice. Hopefully, watch the videos regularly and get the good knowledge. Till then, practice. Well, bye-bye.